Hey everyone, this is Sam, and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what I call the Handy Rifleman build. And this build is actually one of my favorites in the game because it is extremely versatile. As you can see, I'm just purposely exposing myself, fighting on very hard, and I can actually deal out a lot of damage, but at the same time, stay relatively safe with defense. And also, if I want to go completely silently, I can just chase for headshots with my silence assault rifle. And if I want to get right in the thick of the fight, right in my enemy's face, I can also switch over to my close range SMG for extreme effectiveness. So overall, this build is awesome. So if you enjoyed today's video, uh, please subscribe and like. Also, you can click on the card above or the playlist in the description below for more Cyberpunk 2077 tips and guide and videos I have made on this game all year long. And as always, the gameplay you see is on a very hard difficulty, so you know that this is going to work across all game modes. In regards to your attributes for this specific build, uh, level 34 would be ideal, but you can start building up to it early. I suggest get your technical ability to 18 as soon as possible and your reflexes to 20, and then you can start adding points in your cool after. Now, you're gonna need your crafting skill progression to be at 18 to get the most out of this build because you get this Ying Long Smart Rifle. At the same time, with crafting at 18, the skill progression, you'll also get a legendary D5 copper head. So this is possible because once you reach 18 on uh, crafting skill progression, you actually get uh, free blueprints to craft your own legendary weapons. And because you'll be so good at crafting, make sure to upgrade your guns every time you level up. And for the D5 Copperhead, which is the gun we'll focus on first, make sure you add the Silencer to it, which gives you extra damage multiplier attacking from stealth. The reduced damage is not that big of a deal because you're going to be shooting in silence. And uh, make sure you add the uh, mods that gives you eliminates vertical recoil while aiming. And also the mod that gives you increased headshot damage by 20%. And here are the perks you can add to make the D5 Copperhead absolutely OP and silent. So get the name bullet passive perk and then also get the uh, covering kill shot passive perk which increase your critical chance of you shooting behind cover. Also uh, get the executioner passive, uh, more damage with rifles and submachine guns to enemies who health is above 50%. Uh, long shot, so this is all going to combine to make your legendary D5 Copperhead silence assault rifle amazing. Uh, so. Once you get more points into your cool, invite us into the stealth sniper. Also the uh, strike from shadows. Once again, everything is gonna combine to help you chase headshots in silence. In the last one, make sure you get frozen precision so you get extra headshot damage at 50% plus. And in the end, your D5 Copperhead legendary level, it's gonna end up with D stats and that's way more than enough to chase headshots to finish missions completely in silence. So you can see I'm hiding behind cover as I'm leaning towards the side like that, that means I'm behind cover. And then I'm just gonna shoot him in the head. And that was just one bullet at 18,000 damage. And because it's an assault rifle, the longer I hold the button down, the more I shoot. So this time I'm considered being behind cover again. And I'm gonna hold the button a little bit longer. So that's two shots. And once again, you can see 19,000 headshot damage in complete silence. For this silent shots, I'm actually considered to be not behind cover because I'm not leaning out from the side, nor is there anything in between me when I'm shooting it. So you can see the headshot damage is less, but I hold the button down longer to let go free shots so I can still, you know, finish off the enemy. But the most OP thing about the silencer, and you can see I'm purposely missing shots and shooting around my enemy, and they don't notice it. Like, they're not, because of the silencer, they just don't realize I'm there. So I can miss shots and still chase the headshots. So after using a whole clip around him, you can see it doesn't respond. So I'm just going to shoot him for real this time. And then I was able to bring him down. So that's pretty broken AI when you put a silencer on your gun. And one of the most important thing about this is that if you are actually killing enemies in silence and the area either remains hostile or completely just no threat, you can actually quick save in between missions if the area is considered to be no threat or hostile. So that's going to save you from a lot of issues with bugs and such. And also, from a story progression standpoint, if you do an entire mission in silence, you actually end... I don't want to spoil you in this mission, but you actually get a lot more options and you can talk to way more people, even the enemies. Now the next gun I'm going to show you is the Ying Long Smart Rifle. This is the loud option gun of the build, and if you use this, you're going to be taking down enemies and you don't even have to get behind cover. Uh, so, because it is a smart rifle, so make sure you pick up the Cyberware Smart Link to, you know, make it work the best. And you can see when I'm using this gun because of its ability to chase for damage, and it is an iconic weapon, so it does have a chance to uh, let out EMP explosions as I finish off an enemy. If the goal of the silent assault rifle is to shoot silently behind cover, 
with the Ying Long, you're going to combine it with the Perk Savage Stoic, which gives you 35% damage bonus if you're standing still. With this, you're just going to stand still and let the bullets fly, because it is a smart rifle, so once you know we're locked onto an enemy, just stand still, and just let the shots go as quickly as possible. High when you're reloading, the damage of this is amazing. And because of my investment into uh, Cold Blood, where if I get kills, I get armor buff with this perk right here with the pill, that actually enhances my defense to a point that I have very high survivability. And because I'm a very good craftsman, which I'll show you guys in detail later on how to craft super strong potions, I can actually, I, I can't be killed and I can have infinite amount of potions that heals me instantly. And with the Ying Long, I'm just gonna hide behind cover as I heal and reload pop back out and just let it fly with the extra EMP chance and also the increased damage and the ability to shoot around cover because it is a smart rifle. This is absolutely devastating against any type of enemies, small groups or large groups. Now the final gun I want to show you to complete this build is the uh, Fenrir. This is a legendary iconic weapon you can get from a side mission and you can see uh, these are the stats of the Fenrir. What it does is that the extra perk is that it has very low recoil and it can light enemies on fire. And this is the gun I like to use. When I'm fighting mostly bosses in 1v1 individual fights, I can get right into their face, use my dodge slow down cyberware to kill a single. And you can see just it really lights people on fire very quickly. Like the raid of this gun, giving someone thermal damage and igniting them, it's incredibly high. Versus this cyber cycle on very hard, you can see I'm catching them on fire every clip. And the fire damage is huge, look at how much damage it is doing to her. And obviously, the slowdown dodge is going to make this even better, so make sure you get that cyber word. But this enemy is smart, she gets up top and actually hides from the my fan rear. So at this point the fan rear is useless, but this is why we have the Ying Long. The distance on this gun cover is actually pretty large, and if it's high ground like that, I can still curve the bullets, look at that. Nice and easy, I can even take down the grenade. Completely overwhelming build. This rifleman build is insane. Now, in regards to maximize your crafting, make sure you craft a lot of these uh, epic max stop at uh, MK3. You do that, you actually get back more resources than you put in. To create the max stop, it took me nine regular opponents and four green ones, but you can see if I just assemble one of them, that's how much I get back on the left side there. So that's insane. And being able to do that is gonna create a lot of resources to craft anything I want. And because I have legendary blueprints, I can also craft myself gears. That's a legendary. And if you combine that with the waste not one not perk, that means as I craft legendary gear that comes with really good mods, I can actually also disassemble the gear and get the mods back that I want. And because I can get specific mods that I need, as I, you know, craft as many pieces of gear as possible to make the RNG favor me, I can specifically put back mods into my legendary armor set that I want to keep. So you can see the mods I have in them are OP. I make sure on your cyberware also add in the uh, tinkerer so you can actually hack. The hacking uh, goes very well with your silence assault rifle because you can just hack to ping and then you can also turn off the camera so this will allow you to see where all of your enemies are and nobody will ever see you. If you actually fully commit to this you can finish entire missions with the silence legendary d5 copperhead without ever having anybody know that you were ever there. So uh, here are the attributes for you to review and I'm going to show you the screenshots of all the perks I have. So in Clobot, these are all the ones I have invested in. But I do uh, invest in Cold Blood only after I finish uh, putting all my per points into technical and reflexes. These are the ones I put into crafting and you're going to need every single one of this to make yourself a excellent and most efficient crafter as possible. In regards to stealth, not that many points, but we're just using this to make the D5 Copperhead an incredibly silent stealth weapon like you saw earlier. And here are all the perks I put into Assault Rifle, mostly all of them. So if you got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. As always, thanks for coming by and I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.